baby woke up a little bit early. He actually slept through the night, which was actually very surprising. But he has been sleeping through the night for the last two days. The only downfall about that is that usually in the middle of the night, Dougie takes over and gives him a bottle of my breast milk so I can get, so I can get a break. Well, usually that happens so that I can wake up at like six and I can feed him because I'll have cold, you know, milk in there. Yeah, um, <laughs> he doesn't wake up in the middle of the night, so I have to wake up in the middle of the night to pump so that I can relieve myself, plus to keep up my milk supply. So usually when that happens, I'm the one to feed him at six, which is like my waking time, but you know, I, whatever, I can't, I can't think right now, I'm tired. So yeah, yeah, we've been up, and I've actually I have been up since like five in the morning. I went to go pump, and because um, I slept through one of my alarms at two in the morning to pump to relieve myself, and my boots are super hard, and baby was not up yet, so I pumped for like ten minutes and then relieved myself. Besides the point, I don't even know why I'm talking about this. <laughs> oh my gosh! You guys are. There's a little tiny spider on this thing. Oh my gosh, stop. Oh my oh. <gasps> It jumps, y'all. Oh great. That freaking great. I'm gonna kill it. It was on that thing and it fell so I don't even know if it's still in there and I don't want to check maybe I should have Dougie check cuz I'm not doing it I, I can't I can't just check it's inside of the black exactly why I don't do this. So today I have to go to the dentist. Yay. Um, I'm not looking forward to it because that means I wouldn't have, I won't be with this baby for at least an hour. So it's kind of making me have anxiety. Um, but yeah, I have the dentist in about eight, nine, ten, three hours. So <sighs> I hate the dentist. I just hate the dentist. The, I hate the cleaning and the picking and the, and I have a pocket in one of my teeth and I'm not looking forward to that. So mm, I hate the dentist. So we just got back from the dentist and I just got to say my anxiety wasn't too bad this time, but I still had anxiety. So that's still there. Um, but they did re did really good with my teeth. I know the last time that I went there, they were so rough on my teeth and I hate the dentist, you guys. I loathe it. So um, they were actually really nice. The lady that did my cleaning was really good and the doctor that looked at my teeth was really good. No cavities. No cavities. So I'm super excited for that because I don't need another bill on top of medical bills, okay? So, yeah. No cavities. And look at my baby. Baby Muzubi. 
You got that from Auntie Amber? <gasps> huh? Yeah? Oh, look at that smile. So, I don't know if I told you guys, but he has a new thing now where he sucks on his lips like... I think I told you about that one. But now he spits. He goes... <laughs> he spits. Don't you? You spit? Huh? Yeah, my baby is getting so big. He turns six months soon and he's going to be trying solids once he starts six months. I'm, it's strictly, I'm very strict. Okay, he's gonna be starting with banana only for now. So in, at six months, that's when he starts. And mommy's just falling apart. I don't know where our time has gone, but come on. saw in the video I was about to like feed him and he was not feeling happy so he was very fussy so I was trying to feed him and I had to syringe like some of my milk into his mouth so he would eat my food my boob um, I'm really emotional <laughs> I know this is funny to most people but when you become a mom you like cry all the freaking time and I was just sitting there like in the chair thinking about when he was in my tummy and when he was moving and the sonograms and me taking all these videos and like it just makes me really sad because my baby is growing up. I know this is like nothing to people but to me it means a lot to me because it's my baby. Um, He's almost six months and he, his teeth are coming in. Like it's literally about to pop out of, you know, if they break their skin, so. Ah, I'm such a mess. I'm a mess. I'm just a mess. You know? I know I'm probably gonna look at back at this 10 years from now and I'm just gonna laugh at myself, but you know what? Wait till you become a mom. Or if you're a mom, you know what I'm talking about. But yeah, I've just been sitting in here in the room. Just I was rocking him to sleep and just looking at videos of him. Anyways. <laughs> I'm a little disappointed. So Jeremiah's like rejected my boob. <laughs> yeah, um, he's teething badly today, so. Like his teeth are literally about to pop out. So yeah, so he kind of rejected my boob, both sides. And like he was starting to latch on, but then he latched off and he didn't, he didn't want it. I guess he was pain in his mouth. So they say it's common, but here I am. I'm pumping right now so that, you know, I still get the, stimulation from nursing through my pump so that at least my milk supply you know keeps strong so I'm a little sad just a little sad Lucy Hoover's missing the wild winner fifth consecutive game with that sprained right knee to two two for Adam game four you, you are locked in on this basketball <laughs> Basketball. You like basketball? Like daddy? You know it, mama. Hello, Hakakaya. Hello, Hakakaya. I am ready for the day. Oh, you're falling, baby. Why are you positioned like this? Oh, we had a good morning, didn't we? He had a big bottle at seven o'clock this morning, huh? Yeah, my boobs are really hard and big. 
You want to go breakfast? Yeah, mommy. You can do that again. <laughs> oh my gosh, stop it. Look at this lip. You trying to spit? What are you doing? <laughs> so we're waiting for my client. And look at this little cutie. Look at my assistant. He's so cute, my little assistant. Look at his daddy. Look your eyes. So we're waiting on my client. Hopefully they come soon because I have my baby and I have to feed him. <laughs> so hopefully they're on their way, like maybe five minutes away. But yeah. So it's going to be, this photo shoot is a, I believe it's a gender reveal. So it's kind of exciting. These are kind of exciting photo shoots because you get to see the gender of your client's baby and stuff like that. So it's kind of cool. Hi, baby. He had one. Yeah, he had one. Yeah, I showed it on the vlog. Yeah. Look at this boy over here. He's always on his stomach now. You like being on your stomach? Oh, oh, hi! Hi! What you doing? Are you gonna crawl? Are you gonna start crying? I think so. Look at him. He's starting to move his feet. Are you gonna start crawling? Come towards mama. Come to mommy. Come to mommy. Oh, it looks like he's crawling, about to crawl. Like his feet. He keeps like trying to move. It's okay, baby. Keep trying. Are you gonna call? Call towards mommy. Come on. You can do it. Oh, look at him, he's raising his butt. While in Catland, what are you guys even looking at? What are you looking at? Hey, Hoku. What are you looking? What are you doing? Don't worry about it. Hoku, what are you doing? What are you doing? Are you trying to play video games? It's like a duck. You can't see its feet. What are you doing, Hoku? Don't worry about it. Look at that boy over there. He's so cute. What you doing, baby? Jeremiah, yes. Story time. Right, baby? We're gonna read you a story. And why is this over here? All right, are you ready for story time? We're about to read the Bible. It's a changed man. Okay, Saul did not like Jesus' followers. He was on his way to put some of them in jail. Suddenly, a bright light flashed around him. Saul fell to the ground. A loud voice asked, Saul, why are you against me? Saul was afraid. He cried out, who are you? The voice replied, I am Jesus, the one you are against. Go to, go to Damascus and you will be told what to do. When Saul got up, he could not see. Some men who were traveling with Saul led him to the city. Jesus also appeared to a man named Ananias. Anan Ananias said, Jesus led Ananias to Saul. Ananias laid his hands on Saul and said, Jesus sent me to you. You may see again. Be filled with the Holy Spirit. Immediately, Saul could see. Then Ananias baptized him. After this, God changed Saul's name to Paul. He was a new man. Instead of hating Jesus' followers, he loved them and he became a follower too. 
Paul's journey. Paul traveled far and wide. He taught everyone he met about Jesus. The new believers were called Christians because they were followers of Jesus Christ. Paul traveled with different helpers. He shared the good news with everyone he met. He baptized many people. During Paul's travels, he started many churches. Sometimes he would walk for miles and miles. Other times he would take a boat across the seas. He told everyone about Jesus' love for them. Is that a good story? You like hearing about Jesus? Yeah. Wait, you have fur in your nose. Apparently he likes the mama roo, but he's outgrowing it. Look at his feet. Yeah, they're hanging off, and my baby is, keeps growing, and yeah, so. What are you, what are you guys doing? Hoku and Lana. I know Lana's underneath there. Hoku. Why are you blocking so she can get out? He's literally blocking so he, she doesn't come out. Hoku. Hoku. Who's under there? There's nobody. I'm just sitting here. Lana? Gee. Hi. What are you doing? All right, we're gonna see how how much baby weighs. Okay, okay one ninety four. You need to go to the gym with me. One ninety four point four without. Two twelve point five. What? You're eighteen pounds. What? What? What was it? Two twelve what? Oh my gosh, you're 18.1 pounds. Oh, 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 he's crying. Why are you crying? It's okay. It's okay. That's a good thing. Dad, then you're, you're growing, baby. You have to grow. Mommy's sad. Mommy's sad. Don't do that face. It makes mommy sad. Oh, did you see him just suck up that drool? It's okay, baby. Oh, don't make that face because then he's going to get all sad and smile. Be happy. Hey. You're supposed to be that much. Oh, okay. my sweet boy. <laughs> he's not happy. Hey. Don't do that. He's supposed to be 18 pounds. I wasn't expecting that. I thought he was 15. Oh. Baby is sleeping. Woohoo, I got him to sleep. Um, it took a while, but I got him to sleep. It's 7.44. I started feeding him at like 6.53. So almost an hour of trying to put him down, but I was able to still get him to sleep. Um, Dougie went out. Um, to work so he is working for a little bit um, with his company so I'm stuck with baby but I don't know I don't know if it's just me or like for me like I get super high anxiety when my husband has to leave um, and I'm left with baby um, just because like he is a lot and Jeremiah is like he he has his moments where like he's like I can't get him to calm down um, and I get frustrated and then I don't have anyone calm enough to come in and try to calm him down so there were a lot of situations where Dougie had to work and I was home alone with baby and it was just I'm just gonna say it, it was a show so like he was crying I was crying I couldn't calm him down um, so I always get very nervous when he leaves and in a way I don't feel confident as a mom, you know, and I guess this is mom, this is a new mom thing. I don't know if it's even if a seasoned mom, I feel like um, sometimes we don't feel confident as moms, you know, and I feel like 
with me and my situations, I don't feel confident sometimes. Not all the time, but there are times where I just don't feel confident. I don't feel like I have, like I can do this job. And I think that's every mom I feel like. So for me, that's how I've been feeling um, when Dougie leaves and I, 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 I mean, it, at the end of the day, Dougie has to do what he has to do to support our family. So he, it's not his fault. So for me, I get super high anxiety when I have to face motherhood alone sometimes. And I think it's okay. I think it's okay to feel like that sometimes and to admit it too. So I'm admitting it on here. There's proof. Um, so yeah, I'm about to make heat me up some of my meal for dinner and then I'm gonna hit the books. I'm gonna study. Very hot weekend, but it was pretty good. Um, and I'll talk to you guys in my next video. You know, all these Thursday videos, it's super hard for me <laughs> to do um, as a mom. It really is not an excuse, but I honestly am trying to be honest. I, it's super hard for me um, to do videos on Thursdays. I try my best and I plan it out and it just never goes the way it's supposed to go. Um, just with having a baby, it's super hard. I'll see you in the next video, probably on next weekend, maybe Thursday, but I'm not promising that. But I will promise that my weekend vlogs will always be on time. So talk to you guys later and have a great night, have a great day, aloha and thank you for watching. Bye!